Conor McGregor versus Tyron Woodley. Conor McGregor is the first guy to hold two belts in UFC history. He finally did it at UFC 205 where he beat Eddie Alvarez and that was it. Conor McGregor got it. He's the first guy to do it. The question is, could he get three belts? And Tyron Woodley holds the the UFC championship at welterweight. He's a 170 pound champion of the world. And Tyron Woodley is a beast. He's a big welterweight. He's five foot nine, but he's big everywhere. And he's a tremendous wrestler. He's good at jujitsu and he's got tremendous power. And we saw Steven Thompson take a beating in that UFC 205 in that fourth round. And we saw the ground and pound that Tyron Woodley possesses. We saw him land an elbow on Steven's bridge of his nose in that fourth round. We saw it break. And we saw what a beast this guy is, Tyron Woodley. And he can fight for five rounds. He's got a tremendous gas tank. And that's why he's the champion of the world. And we saw the power that he possesses in one fist in the Robbie Lawler fight. We saw him knock Robbie out. And we know that Robbie can take a ton of punishment but all it took was one fist from Tyron Woodley, and that was it. And the same thing happened in that Josh Koscik fight. So we've seen that, and we know that. And Conor McGregor has tremendous power as well. Out of his 21 wins, he's got 18 knockouts. And we saw him knock out Eddie last time. We saw him knock out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds. It was one of the quickest knockouts ever. We saw him knock out Chad Mendez and Dennis Seaver, and the list goes on, Dustin Poirier. And, and that's what Conor McGregor has done. He's electrified the crowd by going out there and delivering brutal knockouts. And that's what the fans love, that's what I love, that's what you love. And that's why we love Conor McGregor, and that's why he's become such a tremendous fighter in the UFC. Now, could he do the unthinkable? Could he beat a tremendous wrestler with tons of power, who's got great jiu-jitsu, and he's also a bigger man. Now that's the question here, and I wanna ask you guys, and I wanna give you guys the respect and ask you what you think first. Do you think Conor McGregor could do it, or would he just be hitting a wall? Is Tyron Woodley just too big, too powerful for Conor McGregor? Conor McGregor would probably have to gain weight for this fight, and the chosen one would be going down in weight. So we know that Tyron Woodley is the bigger guy. We talked about all his assets. We talked about Connors, and now I'm gonna give my prediction. I think Conor McGregor will do the unthinkable. He will go out there and do what he does best, confuse his opponent in every single facet or aspect of the game. From before the fight to afterwards, he uses mind control to just totally make his opponent think something else and when they go into that fight they are not even there and Conor McGregor is able to do what he always wants to do knock you out that's what's gonna happen we're gonna see Tyron Woodley knocked out now that doesn't mean that Tyron won't won't take Conor down and that Conor might have to really dig deep uh, in this fight to get the knockout but I personally feel like Conor McGregor is that good and that if he gains the weight and if he goes to his fight camp and does what he has to do Conor McGregor will come out victorious and that's it I'm gonna be betting on this if this happens. I'll be there in Vegas betting on Conor McGregor. And I hope you do too. Peace out guys, thank you so much. And this is just amazing what we've seen in UFC with Conor McGregor, we've never seen anything like it. And I think it's time that everybody realizes what it is. It's the most amazing fighter we've ever seen in UFC. Conor McGregor is the best and he's only 28 years old. This is not gonna stop for a little while. You know, he's in his prime. At least three or four years of Knockouts like we've never seen in our life. So quick, so fast, lights out. Conor McGregor, the three-time, three-belt-holding champion. That's it.